All right, I'm out here today in this vast expanse of salt marsh over here by Botany Bay, trying to find a rare species of butterfly. I'm hoping to, to demonstrate that they're breeding in South Carolina and have a, a stable, self-sustaining population here. And the reason why I'm out here in the salt marsh is because their host plant, that stuff, that is type of salt wart and as you can tell there's a little bit of battis out here just 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 a bit only only a couple hundred acres and I have seen these butterflies adjacent to this site for coming up on four years now and the reason why I'm out here today in my nice clothes is because I just saw a pair courting on the side of the road it was either two males having a territorial dispute, or it was a male and a female courting. And that reminded me that I need to get out here and do this. So I'm looking around to see if I can find any of them out here in the salt marsh. Because I, I've seen multiple on, at the same time, on multiple occasions. But I have never found any in the marsh. Oh, and that's a surprise if you look over there. That is a queen. I gotta get a photo of that. That's actually interesting. That is a female queen. And she is laying eggs on, I think that's called salt vine or sand vine or something. Um, or it's gulf salivort or something like that. It's a member of the milkweed family. So I did not know that was a host plant for queens. So that's cool. Another interesting observation. Anyway, I haven't even mentioned the species of butterfly that I'm out here looking for because I got distracted by other not common butterflies in South Carolina. The butterfly I'm looking for is the Great Southern White, and they host on Battis, and they're about the size of a cloud of the sulfur, about a smidge smaller, and they are pure white with um, a black edge to the wing. And the males are interesting because they have turquoise and tenel clubs. So they're dirt common down in Florida, but they're, I don't think they've ever been documented breeding in South Carolina or North Carolina. Uh, definitely not Charleston County, which is where I am, or Colton, which is below me. So I'm currently in Charleston County, and I'm standing on private property. I'm fairly certain it's an heir's property. And over there is more private property. Down there is more private property, but over there, way beyond there, is um, Botany Bay Wildlife Management Area. And my point with all that is there's a huge swath of salt flat marsh that is just untouched, preserved out here. And this is about the perfect place for these species to exist in. So I'm out here trying to confirm whether or not we have a breeding per population of Great Southern Whites. And I'm fairly certain we do, I just would like to have you know, some direct evidence. I'd like to be able to see a male and female mating or female laying eggs or even find a caterpillar. Um, I, mean, I already have enough circumstantial evidence to pretty much prove it. I've seen multiple individuals at the same time, at the same location for several years running. But having some more hardcore evidence wouldn't hurt. And I'm gonna throw up a little clip right here of previously where I was watching these individuals courting or having a territorial dispute. And also throw up some other photos of the species that I've taken at this site. And the site I'm is on Point of Pine Roads as well as at the Hutchinson House. I've seen them pretty much across the board between the two. And the Hutchinson House is on Point of Pines. All right, well, that's about all the looking I can do today because I'm still on the clock and I need to get back to work and do paperwork. Tom out. And as soon as I come out of the marsh, there those suckers are again. <laughs>